what is a dominance hierarchy. What's up, everybody? I'm here in Copenhagen, Denmark right now, very close to the uh, spiral tower here in Copenhagen, to bring you an interesting topic about what is a dominance hierarchy, what are they, where are they from, and are you involved in any? And the answer to the last one is yes. Yes, you definitely are. So basically what a dominance hierarchy is, it basically is in every aspect of how humans organize themselves, specifically humans, I would say. Um, when it comes down to your sports teams, it comes down to your work, it comes down to your friend group, it comes down to your family. In almost every organization of human beings, there's always gonna be a dominance hierarchy. And uh, again, basically, that's just who is really in control and how you define who's in the dominance part is who is uh, the one with all the decisions, who is pulling the strings, who supposedly wears the pants in that scenario. How to determine that? Well, it's again, it's the person who's making those decisions. Common ones, again, sports teams, fraternities, sororities, uh, relationships, you know, who wears the pants in the relationship, things like that. Um, and it's not to say that these things are necessarily bad, but it's just kind of like where you are in that group. And then, and then for a lot, of, uh, a lot of people, a lot of dynamics, I was just hanging out with a friend that I knew from college. Uh, he's, a, uh, he's a Dane, he's an official Dane. Uh, hung out with him for a while, that was kind of cool. Uh, interesting views on politics and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so like with with in that regard, you know, he was like, oh, wherever you want to go, and I was like, oh, wherever you want to go. So we were both giving each other sort of the lead to sort of take the conversation and take where we're going wherever we want. And in an organic, an ideal, in my opinion, in an ideal organic uh, play of a relationship between the two, uh, that's going to switch between you know you and the other person who is uh, at the top of that dominance hierarchy. It's kind of like dancing, but where you get to switch. Uh, that would be like more of a mutualistic, whereas a, a mutualistic relationship, whereas like a like a true dominance hierarchy would be like your uh, your your sports team's leader guy. That that would be the guy who would dominate the conversation, and he would uh, tell you where to go, what to do, and the frat boy guy, the, the head of the I don't know the alpha. I don't even know what they do in the Greek life thing, but yeah. Uh, and women actually have this too. You know, something an interesting thought that someone was uh, talking to me. It's not it's not just men. Uh, like women were talking, uh, someone was telling me that women's makeup is basically war paint. And it's war paint because it sort of helps them sort of climb to the top of dominance hierarchies. Not necessarily in the same way that a classic male standard testosterone infused male would, but um, but more of a, um, a basically the makeup helps you get uh, a higher quality mate. My theory on high heels is that it also does that because usually. Uh, men who are shorter usually don't want to approach uh, women that are taller. And that's just generally how that is. That's a theory of mine. I can't prove that per se. So it's sort of like war paint. Basically, they use the makeup to get into uh, relationships with the highest status guy that they can so that they can sort of, they basically fight each other indirectly so that they can get to the top uh, and secure the best offspring for their future offspring or future posterity or whatever that is, uh, whatever it may be. Um, and obviously men do it through, you know, in the past through fighting, through wars, through uh, armies, etc., uh, things like that. We do it today through sports games, it's a lot. Uh, there's a whole nerd culture that does it through video games. Um, pretty much anything, and like a true nerd group that knows things about like trivia and things like that, we'll do it through information. Like, I know more information, I can prove that you're wrong, uh, things like that. So, yeah, so that's just a little topic I wanted to bring up. Uh, what is a dominance hierarchy? Where are they? What are they about? And uh, if you're involved in one, and you probably are because you're a human being, unless you don't interact with any humans and you never have, then maybe you're not, but then you'd probably be an alien. I assume, I would hope that you'd have parents, and if not parents, some sort of government thing, in which case I would look over you and that would be your dominance, the dominant the, uh, element in your dominance hierarchy relationship. Anyway, so that's the topic I want to bring up. Uh, heading off to Malmo, Sweden, and then also Norway, probably just do one in Norway. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but with that said, I'm peacing out from Copenhagen, Denmark right now, and I'll see you guys next time.